Duke family, welcome to a new edition of the Mic Drop. This week, we've got a trans superstar and a friend of Zoo Genning, someone who's been here before. He was here a year ago. We were expecting him again this year, but that's out of our hands. But here he is anyway. Hey, Mark, how are you doing? What's up, guys? Hey, Joe. So, Mark, where are you right now? What's happening where you are? Well, I guess the uh, same as everybody. I'm uh, at home, uh, locked in my house uh, in the Netherlands. Uh, I'm lucky enough to, to have a... A garden here where I can escape to if uh, I feel confined by the four walls. But uh, yeah, doing pretty well actually. Yeah, that's good to hear. Uh, it, it's a it's a challenging time for everyone. Everyone's mm -hmm. being stuck inside. Um, I see every DJ is putting out mixes. We're showing a mix from you straight after this. Thanks so much for that, man. Yeah, my and, good. Uh, you're also doing a lot of other things. Like you're doing a lot of educational material that the people watching this could probably utilize, right? Yeah, I feel like, you know, this is the perfect time to explore new territories uh, because, you know, when you're on the road and you're making music, then, you know, it's, it's kind of like a snowball. You got to keep going. Right. So now is actually a time to take a step back and think what I actually, yeah, what else I want to do. So I've been uh, streaming regularly on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash Mark Sixma. And I'm doing like demo feedbacks for producers, obviously live sets, uh, but also me in the studio, just making music, giving tips. You know, just trying to, I've been doing a lot of master classes recently and, you know, I feel the teaching part it really speaks to me as well. So, yeah. That's really cool. We're going to tune in with you and, and get our friends and our your fans to come and watch this. Because, for instance, I haven't DJed for 10 years, but I took it up again getting our resident Josh really? to give some, some testers. So you, you're not under yeah. threat in any way, Mark. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it would be really good to to look in. And I know that... A lot of guys are trying to make their own music, like our residents are trying to make their own music. So you, you give feedback and you can help people out with that, right? Yeah, I think it's, you know, the the best way is, to, you know, I, I've been doing this for, I don't know, over 15 years. So all the mistakes I've made, you know, I can hopefully help prevent some of them to the producer. So, you know, that they get to a higher level quicker than, than I got, you know, and uh i think nowadays you know all you need to know to learn to produce is on the internet you can get everything you know in general you know if you want to learn something you can probably learn it decently on the internet so but besides that you know i'm also a big gamer so i uh, i'm also streaming a little bit of gaming with friends and with, with my fans as well uh last week i got challenged to play rocket league against a very good player one on one and you know, <laughs> I, i'm still recovering but uh it was a lot of fun so tell me, I, I know that as a, I was lucky enough to have lunch with you when you came out last time. You were telling me that a lot of the big DJs game on tour. You say Armin's a very good gamer. Ruben is a very good gamer. Who else is? Tell me who the, the peak gamers are in the DJ scene. Uh, I know Kashmir is a really good uh, FIFA player. Uh, I've seen Nicky Romero do doing some um, Call of Duty on stream as well. He's, he's a good player. Uh, but I think most DJs, you know, it's, if you're well, if you're a producer, uh, you spend a lot of time on your computer. So I think about eighty to ninety percent of the producers out there, they're gonna be gamers as well. So, Is it, who have you played the most against, and obviously who's better? Uh, I played a lot with Ruben uh, in a game called Destiny, and also John O'Callaghan uh, was playing there as well, and we used to play together. It was a, was a, was a lot of fun. Ruben is a is a good one. He's a, yeah. Talented. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I, I, I once again like my DJ skills. I won't challenge you just yet. Let me get some practice on the way. <laughs> DJ skills or gaming skills? What are we? What are we doing? Yeah, I, I give give me a running leap on both of them. To be fair, but <laughs> someone actually wrote in and asked us, which may lean into what you just said. If you weren't a DJ, what would you be doing? What career was going to be the career of choice? Um, yeah. So before, I would have said, you know, maybe something in marketing. Uh, I studied um, social and economic psychology on uh, university, uh, which is basically, well, it, it's consumer behavior, um, but also like it, it's economical, but um, deviating from that. And it's more like the, like instead of the economy is, assumes rationality, sorry, I'm, I'm <laughs> blabbering a little bit, but uh, this is like how people behave in a non-rational way and which you can predict. So. I found that very fascinating and probably somewhere in that uh, region, yeah. Another question for you is, 
what advice can you give to guys who are starting out? Like we said, a lot of people are teaching themselves how to DJ. We get a lot of questions for you from people who are fresh or they've been DJing in their room for six months or even they've been trying out in local clubs for a year and yeah. they feel, hey, there's a leap between where I am and where Mark is. So what would be your advice to these people who are either brand new or they're already on the journey? I would personally advise everybody, you know, if you want to be an international DJ, you know, not, not just a local DJ, which is, there's nothing wrong with that, obviously. It's great to be able to sleep in your own bed, you know, instead of travel <laughs> <laughs> 20 hours on a plane. But um, if you want to be an international DJ, there's only one way to do that. doesn't matter how good of a DJ you are, well, except maybe if you're like doing like really crazy things with mixing. But I would say producing is by far the most important thing to learn. Uh, that's that's the, just your ticket to the world. You know, if your music gets played on a radio show like A State of Trance, which broadcasts in, all over the world, you know, then all these people suddenly know your name. It's it's the, the, the fastest way to spread your name. And also, you, it gives you the opportunity to create uh, unique sets because there's only material you have, you know. So by far, the most important thing is producing. And, you know, watch a lot of tutorials on YouTube. There's so much to find out there. But there's no substitute for hard work, you know, it's, it's got to take effort. So basically, just don't give up. Yeah, well, not only not, not giving up, but just, yeah, work work really hard. Yeah, 100%. You know, the, the people who make it, uh, they are, yeah, the persistent ones. So uh, talking about that lunch we shared, uh, I took you for a famous fish and ship restaurant, Harry Ranson, here in Genting. And, yeah, and a good friend of both of us, Dan, your, your, your manager, had the largest ice cream sundae I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. <laughs> so, so Dan actually wrote into us and wanted us to ask you, what's your favorite Asian food? Um, what, what do you enjoy uh, when you're out on tour, especially centric around this region? Well, I'm, I'm a huge fan of the Thai curry, the green curries, uh, probably my, my favorite dish. Uh, because it, it's, I haven't actually, uh, I've tried actually, I ordered the, the ingredients to, to make it myself, but unfortunately they were out of the, the, the curry itself. So, you know, <laughs> I'll have to try that again later, but uh, yeah. And it, also in Indonesia, the nasi goreng, I'm crazy about that as well. Yeah, pretty special dishes. I, I, I like both of them. Can you handle spice? Um, I can. Well, I, I wouldn't say I can handle it to the same degree as... Um, you know, people who eat it every day can, but uh, I like it a little bit spicy for sure, yeah. yeah. Good man, good man. So talking about, you've just mentioned Indonesia, you've just mentioned Thailand. Obviously, you've been here with us in Malaysia, you played in Singapore. Someone asked us, which country have you not played that you're dying to check off your list once the travel bans are over and we get back to a degree of normality? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, that not only for DJing purpose, but also for traveling purpose. And like New Zealand is very high on my list. Always wanted to go there. I'm 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 crazy about you know nature and going out in there. Like, I li I live like next to a forest here in the Netherlands. So, it's uh yeah, it's high on my wish list. Have you been? I I've never been, dude. But uh, I'm a great outdoors guy as well. And we've got an amazing hike here in Genting. So next time you come, yeah, I'll take, happy, man. take you up to like six thousand feet, and we can overlook Kuala Lumpur. So special view, special view. Amazing. Let's do that. So uh. I'm this fun thing we're going to do, uh, Mark, is uh, I'm going to put a clock above me in a second and we're going to do 60 seconds and I'm going to quick fire some topics at you and I just want your knee jerk reaction, okay? I 100% right. honesty all the way, so uh, I look forward to this. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't up. Wow. Okay, we'll start. Favorite pizza topping? Um, Hawaii. Pizza Hawaii, so. Beach holiday, ski holiday? Ooh. Beach, difficult. Favorite form of fitness? Uh, running. Favorite trance track? Silence. Good choice, good choice. Um, Ever, evergreen. Early morning jog or lying in bed? Oh, uh, lying in bed, but you know, after if, if, if I have to, Afterwards, I would say definitely morning jog because if I do that, I feel much more energetic the whole day. But if it comes down to the act itself, you know, lying in bed can be very comfortable. Home cooked meal or takeaway? Uh, if I don't have to cook it, then home cooked meal. But uh, otherwise, <laughs> otherwise takeaway. CDJs or vinyl? CDJs. 
Scratching or mixing? Mixing. I'm a horrible scratcher. Uh, I used to have this like turntable, which wasn't the best. So even if you just scratch a little bit, the needle would just jump and then like you're done. So uh, yeah, I, I just I would just stick with the mixing, honestly. What music do you clean the house to? Uh, I don't clean the house with music, honestly. <laughs> so <laughs> okay, no I'll, I'll rephrase it. What do you sing in the shower? What uh, Bohemian Rhapsody? <laughs> Uh, that's a long shower. And Actually, we, we got thrown out of a karaoke. Me and my buddies once in Spain when we were like it was it was a uh, it was organized by uh, yeah English people as you know you know they can be pretty pretty serious about their karaoke and they were like really good singers and we were like really bad and then of course we decided to do Queen Bohemian Rhapsody which is you know probably the hardest song to karaoke so yeah we got kicked out of, for that. And the last and the most important question we ask. Singapore or Malaysia? Oh, uh, I would say Malaysia. Yeah. Good man, 100% record for Malaysia still. No, but when we do Singapore, I'll for sure say Singapore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know no, wow. both are amazing in, in different ways. I feel, I feel that one in the heart right there. I feel that one yeah. in the heart. No, man, both are amazing. I always have a good time. Uh, so, yeah, Singapore is, you know, the. The, the the big modern city with all the like, crazy crazy stuff um, Malaysia great food great people the crowd especially the, well both are good but Malaysia I remember doing a show once on a Wednesday night on a for not a particular event it was packed out everybody was going absolutely mental so yeah good memories so Mark tell us a little bit before you go what's coming up for you obviously we're in lockdown now but we won't be forever new songs new gaming what what can we look forward to yeah to so uh well there's so much new music obviously uh since uh, we have so much time uh, to actually make music now which is great uh just released a remix for my track paint the sky with uh, elena esme it's on the armada unites compilation um i have a track coming up with morgan page uh, which i'm very excited about it's it's a bit more uh, radio friendly nice uh nice sing-along track you know with Good vibes, you know, trying to lift the spirits a little bit. And then later on, I got a new M6 track coming up, but that's already like a few months uh, uh, later. But yeah, lots. I'm working on a lot of collaborations and a lot of new vocal tracks. So super excited about it. So uh, I'll, let, I'll let the fans into a little secret, especially in Malaysia. Uh, myself and uh, Dan have been working on a project to bring you and Ruben here to do uh, an e-game and DJ experience. So yes. really that that's something we could do. Maybe even if it's not this year, in 2021, it's definitely something to look forward to. Yeah, man, I'm, I, I can't wait. For me, it's like the perfect combination, gaming, music. Those are my two biggest uh, passion, passions. So, uh, yeah, I can't wait, man. Let's do it. And, and, and of course, I have to ask you, who would win out of you and Ruben? De depends on the game. If we play Destiny, then he would win for sure. Uh, let's see what other games we have. I mean, I haven't played other games with him, so let's find out. But the important question is, Joe, are you going to be ready when we come to town and we take you? <laughs> this is the perfect time to time out. You know, this is the perfect. I, 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 <laughs> I, I'll be there with my pen and paper taking notes, Mark. I don't know if I'll be. I, I'll be there, ready to take on the ice cream sundae with Dan. I don't know about the gaming. That's All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll make sure Dan is ready too. If 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 my DJing is up to scratch, I might open for you guys when there's about six people in the room. But I'm not sure about the gaming. I mean, come on, it's the gaming, there's no, you know, you can have fun, you don't have to be good. <laughs> it's all, all, all uh, good fun, man. Well, well Mark, we'll it's figure been it out. awesome to catch up with you. I really yeah. enjoyed spending time with you last time. I really look forward to spending time with you, Dan, V, and the guys when you come. And uh, stay safe. Thanks so much for touching in with us. Uh, we want to be in contact okay. with you at regular times during the year. And uh, we really, really look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks for having me. It was a lot of fun, Joe. Uh, good luck with everything and uh, see you after this. Hey, the Soup family loves you, Mark. We'll see you soon. Ciao.